Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about the new update from Skylum, the Lumina 1.3, which brings us a new extension, Noiseless AI. So before we jump in, let's talk about a little bit how Lumina Neo is different from the previous versions like Lumina AI and Lumina 4. So with Lumina Neo, I think we're entering into a new era of Lumina. That's what Skylum claims. Because previously, with every Lumina version, you get a brand new graphic user interface, which wasn't really welcomed by me and as far as I've seen most of the users, because once you get familiar with one user interface, then they just release one completely different software. So now Lumina is trying to approach a different way, which means Lumina Neo is going to stay with us and all the new features are coming as an extension, like a kind of like a plugin. So the first extension that arrived with 1.2 was the HDR Merge, which is technically an Aurora HDR with default setting. There's not much more. You can't really change anything like you would be able in Aurora HDR. So keeping the software is still recommended. With the 1.3, we receive the Noise AI, which as the name implies, is denoising your image. Up to now, I use Topaz Love's Denoise AI, which was a very good software. It does a tremendous job on removing noise and keeping the details. And comparing Noises AI with Dino's AI, I have to say that it does a really good job as well. They're very comparable, the results are on par. Sometimes Dino's AI is slightly better, sometimes Noises AI is better. So if you're planning to move from Dino's AI to Luminous Noiseless AI, it will be very seamless because the results are very comparable. So that's a good point. So let's see a few examples first. As you can see, Noise AI is doing a really great job. There's absolutely no complaints there. And that means I can leave the Noise AI, so I have to use one less application, which is a great thing because every time you're using a plugin in a software like Photoshop or Affinity Photo, you have to deal with the so-called generation loss. Now, it's really unnoticeable amount of quality loss, but it's still there. And it takes time for another application to load, so Overall, this will speed up the workflow, I'm sure. Now, where the complaint is, is that again, Skylum released an application that has a major bug. This bug only happens with raw files and if you apply Noiseless AI as a raw plugin, so must be before any further edits. Then after editing your image, if you synchronize the edits with other images, then you will find your new images to contain the original image's noise reduction overlay to appear. Almost like a double exposure. To show you another method, let me quickly clear all the edits from the target image so I will have a clean raw file. Opening the first image again, I go to the Edits tab and there I already have the previous Noiseless AI added. Then I create a preset with Noiseless AI used as a raw plugin again. Once you created the preset, just apply it to another image and it will apply the original images overlay again. So as you can see, this bug is very easy to reproduce, it's very visible and it's constantly happening. So that's why it baffles me that how on hell on earth this ended up in a released version. I used to work in software development and such major bugs shouldn't even exist in the beta, yet alone the alpha or the final release. And that's what my main issue with Skylum, that every time they're releasing something, it feels an unfinished product. It feels like a beta version that we, the users who are paying for the software, are going to test reporting the bugs and a few updates later, we might have a finished product. So I don't know, maybe in 1.4, we will have a finished noiseless AI. Now my second complaint about this is the price of this extension packs. First of all, as of now, 
you cannot buy the extension packs separately. Skylon said that they will plan to release each extension separately and based on how much the AGR merge was, it's gonna cost about 40, 50 quid, which is almost the same price as a full application. And it's just after we just bought Lumina Neo, so it's really annoying. I think with the Lumina Neo, they should have included the first three, four extension at least. But right now, the only way to get these extensions is buying the seven extension 2022 pack, which means for the last half a year, you will get seven more extensions, which three of them, we don't even know what it is. So I'm not feeling really comfortable about this. I did it so I can update you on this channel, but I believe many users are driven away from this kind of metal. It feels like this kind is pushing towards the subscription base, which is mainly why people are leaving Adobe products. Like we left Adobe because of the subscription model. We have Affinity Photo now replacing Photoshop and we have Alien Skin Exposure to replace Lightroom. Both those are great job, paid once and that's it. We use it forever. That's how I prefer. I'm sorry, but I'm not a big fan of subscription-based software. So pushing people towards a subscription-based model is not the best idea in my opinion, because Luminar is not competing with Lightroom. It's a completely different software. Alien Skin Exposure, that's competing with Lightroom and doing a great job in that. Luminar is more like competing with uh, Nick Color FX from DxO, which has a free version on the internet released by Google many, many years ago, which you can still find. Now, I like the model, the idea that instead of releasing a new software, new software, every year they are releasing these extensions, technically adding the new features to a base program, which is Luminar Neo. And to be honest, I really like this new approach from Skylum towards Luminar, that you have this base software and then just modular extension system because this way I can only have the tools I need. For example, with Luminar Neo, one of the main new features is Relight AI, which I don't think I will ever use because I find this tool just completely useless in my workflow. Maybe it's useful for someone, but that's not me. Same applies for them, one of the new extensions, uh, Upscale AI, which is very similar to Topaz Love's Gigapixel AI. And that's an application I have on the computer and never even started it because I'm just not using it. So my main complaint is the pricing because based on what we had so far, HDR merge was about 45, 50 quid, I don't even remember, which is quite steep for just one feature, just one extension. That's really, really high. As I said, it would be better to sell Luminar Neo on a higher price, like 100 to 120, and then each add-on should be like 20 quid. Would be more viable, would keep your users, because this way Skylum is going to lose customers, which I believe they do, because many people are still loving Luminar 4, which personally I believe was the best version of Luminar. Obviously, it's missing a few features that was coming with AI and now Neo. So you are more or less pushed toward using Luminar Neo, which is, a, in my opinion, worse product than Luminar 4, but it gets the better features. I just really grind my gears. So don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing Luminar because it's a really good software. And Skylum working in Ukraine in a war zone now, creating this program for us and keep updating it it's a great effort but i feel like when it comes to quality control they should have done a better job and when it comes to pricing they definitely need to rethink their strategy because they're going to lose customers like this and to be honest i really like this new system as i said because now i can just use one application because previously i had to use luminar then denoise ai then sharpen ai so it was like a lot of back and forth wasting time by waiting for each software to load up waiting for each software to export back just hassle so luminar will make everything a bit more hassle free for me which is really good but i'm really really thinking to stop supporting them just 
basically because I feel like they went a bit too greedy and they following a bad business strategy. So that's my quick review of the noiseless AI extension for Luminar Neo and my little rant about Skylum. Leave me a comment below that which one you prefer for denoising your images, which one you use and are you going to change the noiseless AI. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and see you on our next video.